entertaining at Buckingham Palace is never going to be a simple affair. Each and every state banquet takes 10 days to prepare for and requires 1,700 pieces of mismatched Baroque, Morocco and neoclassic cutlery to be placed at each of the 170 table settings precisely 46 cm apart. Crockery is taken from King George IV's 4,000-piece grand service and 1,104 glasses 6 for each guest, to contain water, champagne for the toast, red wine, white wine, champagne or sweet wine and port must be laid on the pristine 175-foot dining table. On the night, 76 members of staff, from under butlers to pages, ensure that each plate is laid down at exactly the same time by keeping their eye on a hidden system traffic lights blue for a standby and ember for a serve of food. And at the end of the evening the Queen's priceless gilt-edged porcelain is taken back below tears be washed, by hand, using good old fairy liquid, although woe betide anyone, who chips one of the those. Last year the royal family welcomed around 62,000 guests the palace state visits, receptions, garden parties, investitures and private audiences. Inside displays recreate the behind-the-scenes preparations for a state banquet, from office that sends out the coveted gilt-edged invitations and the palace pastry kitchen, where staff use molds made from the buttons on a footman's livery, to make tiny gold-dusted decoratons for the chocolate bombs often served at desert. The Queen's Wine Cellar, situated beneath the state rooms one of the oldest parts of the building holds a staggering 25,000 bottles, some which are on display. The oldest the monarch owns is a bottle of sherry, that dates back 1,660 but will never, it has to be said, be drunk. A royal welcome open until September 27th part of the summer opening the state rooms at Buckingham Palace.